two soldiers buried under Christian crosses are getting those headstones replaced with a more accurate depiction of their faith and family legacy. One Atlanta man is traveling all the way to France to watch the ceremony for one of his relatives. Atlanta News First, Carly Barnett is outside the Bremen Jewish Heritage Museum in Atlanta. Carly, you spoke with a man about what this means to him and his family. Alan, I did, and Bill Leventhal says that he learned his father's cousin was buried in Normandy just a couple of days after D-Day. He was a lieutenant in the U.S. Army. And back during World War II, he largely had to keep his Jewish faith a secret. So that's why Leventhal says he wants to make sure his relative ahead of Memorial Day gets the honors that he never had. I think it's important, if you can, to find out about your roots. Bill Leventhal went on a journey to do just that. He learned his father's cousin, Lieutenant Lawrence Craig in the U.S. Army, was killed in action shortly after D-Day at age 28. He was buried in Normandy. On a trip, Leventhal visited the site. There was a cross on the grave, and we're Jewish. And uh, I said, can we get that fixed? It turns out the organization Operation Benjamin was already working on that. Founded in 2019, they work to replace the grave markers of Jewish American service members buried under crosses with Stars of David. He had a P for Protestant instead of an H for Hebrew on his dog tags in case he got captured by the Germans, which is why even though they are Jews disproportionately volunteered in World War II, they're disproportionately underrepresented in the cemetery. Operation Benjamin founder Shalom Lamb is in Normandy now. Very often the story of Jewish history is a story of victimhood. And that's true and it's accurate and it's real. But there's also the story of heroism and the story of Jews as liberators, Jews as liberators against evil. And we're telling that story and bringing these young men and women to life. The only picture they have of Lieutenant Craig is his senior photo from Chicago. Turns out he's president of his class. Leventhal is headed to France again Saturday ahead of Memorial Day to see his cousin have the marker he was meant to have. So it's very meaningful that uh, I've learned more about him and a little bit at least about his life. For those that gave it all a proper symbol of their heritage to mark their lives forever, honoring faith and family. And in addition to Lieutenant Craig, there will be two other headstone ceremonies taking place in Normandy this weekend. That brings the total number of headstone exchanges through Operation Benjamin to 23. They have also done similar ceremonies at the American cemeteries in the Philippines and in Belgium. Live in Midtown, Carly Barnett, Atlanta News First. All right, Carly.